I'm gonna show you today the easiest kebabs you have ever made. So I have two different ones I'm gonna make for the chunks. Those are chicken breast. So I cut them in almost equal size chunks. I am gonna marinate it in juice of one lemon and zest of a lemon. And this is going to be so rustic. Salt, pepper, and then some garlic onion powder. I have this onion salt powder that I use and it was delicious. And now the rustic part. You need lots of thyme and lots of rosemary. I pre-wash these when I bring them home from the store so they're clean. Um, you don't have to wash them. I like to wash them. Chunks of rosemary and thyme just go in there. You're going to give it a quick mix very, very well. Make sure everything is covered in the lemon juice, the zest, and all these herbs. You're going to pull the herbs out. Don't worry when you barbecue this you can also make it on the stove top or stick it in the oven if you don't have a barbecue cover it really tight and let it marinate for at least three hours or best overnight i like to do it overnight now for my chicken thighs this is chicken thighs with no skin or no bone and i'm using a very mild chili powder here so a chili mixture any chili mixture you want you need salt and pepper very mild chili mixture and some yogurt and you're gonna also marinate this overnight for your barbecue again you can put this in the oven you can do it on the stove top or just throw it on your barbecue in the summer i try to do everything on the barbecue because cleaning up is so easy this i'm just gonna marinate in a bag because cleanup is super easy after i just have to throw the bag out and that's it i don't need to make another dish dirty and i'm gonna let all of this marinate the next day, I am going to put the chicken thighs aside because they don't go on the skewers, they go on the grilling uh, pan. And the chicken breasts, I am going to put on the skewers that I have. You can put on the wood skewers as well, the bamboo skewers. Just make sure you soak them beforehand so they don't burn on the grill. And that's it. I am just going to skewer this up and throw it on the grill. And I love this. You can eat it the next day. You can throw it on your salad. You can make sandwiches, anything your heart desires. I love this large um, pan, this sheet. I don't know what it's called. I think it's called something like a sheet or something. I don't know. A griddle. Ha! Huh? I throw those on the griddle. And my skewers go directly on the grill. And then I'm going to remove the chicken thighs from the griddle eventually and put them on the grill. So there you have contact with the heat with the actual grill but that's much later when they're almost cooked through and absolutely easy delicious this was a fourth of july barbecue and we ate it we enjoyed it the next day we made sandwiches with the chicken and threw them on salads and that's it look how beautiful that looks i hope you make this and you enjoy please give me a thumbs up if you love this and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.